Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of INS. Today we'll be covering the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, or ABC from Australia. And uh, let's look at the uh, background information. The Australian Broadcasting Corporation was established in 1932 as the Australian Broadcasting Commission, though its origins can be traced back to the establishment of the Australian Broadcasting Company in 1924. The ABC is a public-founded broadcaster akin to the BBC in the United Kingdom, funded through grants from the Australian government. Don't mind the, uh, the TV show audio in the background, by the way. Yet tasked with maintaining political independence. Like the BBC, they started as a radio broadcaster and originally charged listeners the license free. Though this was abolished in 1948. The ABC launched their television service in 1956, a few months after what would become the Nine Network made for Australia's first TV broadcast. The ABC adopted the first... Lisa just figure as their own logo in 1963 for a design competition. The figure took on its more familiar classic design in 1975 to mark the ABC's launch of color transmission. In 1983, as a part of the major restructure, the Australian Broadcasting Commission was renamed to the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, and by 2001, ABC had begun broadcasting on digital television, launched in a metallic logo to coincide, as well as the new ABC Kids Channel, making ABC the first major network in Australia to have a digital multi-channel. The channel was short-lived, however, as, and it was shut down in 2003 to cut costs, and in 2002, the ABC marked its 70th anniversary with the modification of its new logo, returning to a more traditional design. However, in 2005, ABC launched its second digital multi-channel, ABC2, later ABC Comedy, now known as ABC TV+. This was followed by a second attempt at a digital kids channel, ABC3, now ABC B, which launched in 2009. Around this time, the main ABC channel was renamed to ABC1 to complement ABC2. However, this rename would, would be short-lived, as by 2014, the channel had returned to its original name. And at the time, the classic Lisa Just Figure was resin, or, res, <laughs> reinstated as a primary logo th thir for 13 years after it was retired on air, along with the iconic three-note jingle which hadn't been used on air since 2005. The main channel was rebranded to ABC TV as of January 1st in 2021 to complement the rebranding of ABC Comedy as ABC TV+. Plus. Holy cow. And, by the way, we're looking at their fourth known ID, which was used according to the COG Wiki, in 1968, around to the early 70s. By the way, just so you know, these scary logos usually have nicknames, and these nicknames for scary logos would usually have of doom in it. And this is no exception. This is just figure of doom. The screen... Oh, here we go. Logo description. The screen is filled with a few... Uh, with a view of an oscilloscope display. The Lisa just figure that we see is oscillating rapidly, going from one frequency to another in quick bursts until it settles on a fixed rate. After around five seconds, the display fades to an animated representation of the slow horizontal pattern seen before. It fades to a vertical pattern, and then back, and, th and then it fades back into the previous pattern. The animation stops at the point where the figure resembles the earlier version of the infamous ABC logo, and then pulls back with the words Australian Broadcasting Commission at the top, and National Television Service at the bottom, appearing at once, contracting with the ident. The ident stops animating altogether, and zooms back until it gets to a comfortable distance, which then it pretty much ends the logo. 
As for the music and sounds, an excerpt of the song Reverie for Percussion and Harp by Bob Sharples. And uh, here we go, the logo. Oh, I forgot. And, uh, yeah, I do apologize if I, uh, accidentally had the camera a little bit tilted up there. I'll, I'll, I'll try again. Just give me a minute. There we go. For the scare factor, medium to high, the loud noises and rapid oscillations at the start are unlike anything seen in a logo of that time, and probably wouldn't have given many kids the creeps and bad dreams to a lesser extent. Also, the vibraphone, guitar, and heart piece, while intending to be relaxing, comes across as creepy and quaint instead. So, now it's time for the review. First, the loud noises. I can definitely agree. <laughs> Some people do hate loud noises, but even then, like I said with 786CS films, you should probably turn down your volume first, so that would be less creepy. The rapid oscillations. I can agree with that. <laughs> oscillations are pretty uncommon in some of these logos. And, uh, this apparently is no exception. It seems that this is the only logo that I've seen that actually has these oscillations at the start. The vibraphone, guitar, and heart piece. That does make sense. I mean, it, it is intending to be relaxing, 